Who else likes Mexican breakfast? Dad. Mexican breakfast or Mexican dressing? Oh my goodness! Why can't you eat salad for breakfast? Honestly, I think we've touched on it, but if you haven't tried it, there you go, like. Whoa! If you haven't tried it, give it a crack. It's not spicy, but it's just really good flavors. Did you get the barbecue? Oh yeah, look, Mexican mm. barbecue breakfast. How's all the bloody dishes? Oh, check out me dirty dishes. Don't look at them. People hate that, eh? I don't care. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting guests today. Well, I got the uh, big old rack oh. going on over here. Doesn't that look mm. tremendous? The bacon, eggs, a bit of a salad we made up the other day for uh, the uh, secret mums group. They got demolished. Eventful. Yeah, Say I'm glad. Hi, well, I filmed a little bit. You've probably already seen. I don't think I filmed too much, but this Mommy. one, this one got a little bit loose. She doesn't even know. You gotta find out when you edit this. When we get Jack sorted, I'll explain what we're doing today. So we're doing something very unique and very different for us and who we are and what we do. It's uh, a bit of a, a strange moment, but kind of exciting. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but I'll explain very, very soon. You're going to put your toes in. Can you do it? Do you know what you should do? Put them on the ground. Look like this. Put them down. You put yours down. Look. One, two. Now watch. Go. Put your foot in. Yeah. 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 Push your foot in. Well done. Ta da! Good effort. Way well done. So I know that I named this episode. We're moving. You want to stop moving? I know that I named this episode We're Moving, but it's not into the van yet. No, we're moving into something else temporarily for uh, about four weeks. A house without wheels. Yeah, mm -hmm. something a little uh, a little different, yeah. a little exciting, a bit uh, nerve-wracking, I guess. I don't know. It's, mm. it's different. It's different. Very different. But the reason being is so we can clean out the van and get it ready for sale because um, it's it's still got all of us in there. Like I haven't even taken really some proper photos of yeah. it. Like I should have. Like some current photos. We've got a lot of old photos and ones we've had on the road and things like that. So it's not, yeah, super current. We've got a couple of things we've got to do to it. So we've got new tires going on. Uh, and the door. We've got to fix the door and there's a few little bits and pieces. But it'll be. So it just means we can get it ready and just <clears throat> sell it. And if I seem at all like grumpy at all today or like haven't got much to say, it's because I lost a lot of sleep last night. I was laying awake in bed thinking about what we're doing today. So, so yay! Yay, yeah, Chris! <laughs> if you get to capture that on camera. <laughs> right, now we're gonna go and have a look at the granny flat. We'll have a bit of a a quick overview of what it looks like and where we're gonna be living for the next few weeks. So, come with me. I'll show you where we're going. Jack's got his new chainsaw that he got yesterday just on flat out the whole time. I'm glad it doesn't smell like two stroke or we get smoked out. <laughs> Ta-da! Here we are. Oh, I just turn the light on. Oh, there you go. Oh, there goes the <laughs> you other. didn't do anything, oh, I don't this think. Is like, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> They'll probably need time to warm up or something. So, straight away, this is the kids' sleeping quarters. So, very different. It's a traditional bunk bed setup. It's still the same um, though, Jack on the bottom, Jada on top, just yeah. they're practicing with a double bunk instead of a triple. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit bigger, a bit more of a mattress, but gonna be very curious for this little father and see how he goes. I, I think the first few nights are gonna be about how you going, but I'll think we'll persevere Jack, and he'll come good. This is your bed. No. Wow. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're still yeah. This is. This is my sister's partner, Trav. Soon, a, soon to be husband. Yeah, soon to be husband. <laughs> Fiance, as husband you say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what the hell? Not far away now. This is going to be fun. Isn't it? Wink, wink. <laughs> you need a light on for that, and then you've got this here. <laughs> we need a prison sheet. Yeah, we need to put a big curtain up <laughs> right across there. It'll be the biggest one we've ever had. <clears throat> Full-size so bathroom. It hasn't been used in about six months. 
So obviously, all the windows open, no wonder. Does anybody know what that is? Let me know in the comments, because <laughs> I know exactly what it is. That's... No, it normally doesn't have like a, that's got a tap on it. I know, it's like a really old school one. No, but normally they've got the... Yeah, I know. Mm. Anyway, need to do a cleaning. Why, why else would, that's, like the more I look at that now, it's like... Yeah, it doesn't make sense, because normally it's not an actual tap, it's a... It's like a mini bath, because it's got the same, it's got the little pop thing in there. Jack will not be having a bath in here, <laughs> just saying. I probably shouldn't be touching that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that it's got a pop thing, it's like literally like a sink, like that. But it's shaped like a bidet. I'm excited to get in here and give this a clean. Oh my God. Look at the size of the shower. Go and stand in there. Show you how big that is. Nah, the one the caravan's a bit. <laughs> well, side to side, it really is. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Oh, there you go. Oh, wee. Mm -hmm. So, we got lots of couches. We have a fireplace. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, lighting that bad boy up. We haven't done. Granddad's actually got one of these. Yeah, grandparents. Yeah. And they sit by it every night. So then kitchen. kitchen! Here we go. So overall, they're actually renovating these. So they're going to repaint them, um, deck them out. It'll be like very modern and probably like my sister, which will be really cool. It'll be sophisticated and yeah, modern. Yeah, it'll be really cool. So, so oh, the odd, um, the this, odd, yeah. Oh, I, I think that one will stay for now, but all of this we've got to take out to the shed. Yeah. And then this is an adjoining door to the other granny flats. So there's actually another granny flat through there, and that's the other kitchen. So we're going to put those sofas into there. Yeah, nice. Well, that's the plan. Full size kitchen. I'm not going to know actually, what to do with all this bloody can room. We turn this fridge on. Yeah, it's a good audio. Is this pretty cool? Yes. This is our new home for a couple of weeks. Mm. Um, we got all the room for activities. Woo so, granny flat, granny flat feels. I don't think I've ever lived in a granny flat my entire life. But here we are. Probably about two, three weeks I reckon. It's only just until the van gets built. Um, and then we can take delivery of it early August. Which I'm bloody excited about, I'll tell you that much. But um, yeah, so big part is getting the old van all ready, set up, good to go. Hopefully get that sold in the next week or two, pick up the new one, then we're back on the road and doing what we do best. So it makes you realise how much you enjoy it, how much you love it, love it, um, not doing it. It's like most things, like when you're not doing something as much as you used to, you appreciate what you were doing and this is definitely one of those moments. So itching, itching to get back on the road, especially with a brand new van that you guys will find out about very, very soon cannot wait to show you what we've got what we've done and what we're doing because uh i don't think a lot of people are going to pick up on it they're not going to they're going to be quite shocked and surprised so that's all i'm going to tell you i'm not going to tell you anything more about that about that's it no he is <laughs> i'll chuck in um actually we did a poll on youtube yeah I'll put it, like right here this is what people thought we're getting yeah we, uh, so. we were very curious to see what you guys were thinking and what direction you might think that we might go. And it's it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. It's it's amazing yeah. uh, how it, ideas can be influenced by who you hang out with. Mm. Um, doesn't mean that you're right or you're wrong. It's uh, it's just very interesting from that point of view. But just stop talking. Yeah, I'm uh, excited. Very excited. It's coming. Yes. We're, we'll, there'll be another episode called We're Moving. <laughs> but that time we really are moving in the van. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll yeah. just it'll probably just say new van or something like that. Yeah. Just big bold. Here it is. Right oh, where do we start? I'm so glad it's not like an entire house because that that day, or for anybody that knows, moving house in general is just it's quite stressful because there's so much to do. But um, being in a caravan, it is obviously far less gear. But it's still like. Uh, where do you start? Like, there's still a lot of gear in here, as much as it's not a full house, but yeah. So it's one of those things, once you get the ball rolling, we'll be right. Can you put him to S-L-E-E-P, please? Oh, just to throw a spanner in the works. Yeah, and, but it means we can clean up that apartment yeah. so it's ready. Right on. Give me cuddles. It's going to be a big day. <laughs> not yet. It's 11 o'clock, it's sleep time, and we're just about to start. It's nice and warm. 
just about to start packing. Ah, uh, good luck, kids. Bye. Are you tired? You want to take that to bed? Yes. I don't think that's a good idea. No, I hey, Listen, guess what? If you go and have a quick sleep, yes. you can have this back and you can play with it all day. Do you have to have a sleep first? Oh. Yeah. Very, uh, it's romantic. Yeah, it's like a little. Uh, it reminds me of like a wood cabin up in the snow hills and you're Yeah. Collecting your dry wood to keep warm or not. We got all the kindling ready and the paper and stuff too. Yeah, got a few and I logs there. Got all that earlier. Ready to go. It's I'm cool. like super excited to try and light that up. And this is the one thing. This is the treat when we move in. Yeah, yeah. We totally. don't do it until we're in. No. Nah. Yeah. True. Yeah. This is like the initiation of it all. Yep. The completion of the move. Well, good or good afternoon. Did you have a good sleep? Yes. Yes. Now we can start unpacking. And it's one o'clock. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna move into the granny flat. Are you excited? Yes. You are? Yes. It's gonna be very different. Yes. I thought it's a big boss. And the big, you're gonna go on a big bed. Yeah. You like saying yes, don't you? Yes. <laughs> it's. I think the hardest part is just figuring out where even where to bloody start. So I think the beds are gonna be the first one. We can get them all made up in the granny flat, make it start looking a little bit homely, uh -huh. and then we'll start uh, ripping into a bit of other things. Um, Might even do the kitchen or something like that. Already the bed looks so much better. It's like not 90s. It's only short term. Ah, it's only a few more weeks and then we're going to move again, but permanently for a little bit longer. <laughs> Bloody excited. If you hear a lot of that noise, this is an $8 special that he got the other day and he has not stopped playing with it since he got it, haven't you? You love this thing, don't you? He's bribery, he's bribery to get a haircut. Yeah, well that's, yeah, there you go. That is the bribery to get this nice little haircut of his. So we've got two of the kids mattresses out, we've got all those sheets off, just picking up all the last little bits now. So looking very bare in there. Just gonna focus on the beds, get all that organized, get them all made in the other in the other room, make it feel a little bit homely. And I think we might rip into the kitchen stuff or the bathroom stuff next and see how that all goes. But so far, so good. Cruising along. Not too much. There's lots of little things, but there's not too much. It's far better than a whole house. I'll tell you that. I've done that way too many times in my lifetime. That's our bathroom. That's like our whole bathroom. Whole bathroom in a bucket. Yeah. It's really <laughs> not much, eh? Hey? It's not much.
got to do <laughs> when you're normally uh, used to having things stuck to the wall. Oh yeah. Put it on the mirror. And then I've done the same. <laughs> I've reused these just for now. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Oh, like there's chainsaw. a bloody noise again. I'm going to take the batteries out of that for a couple of days, I think. And I'm going to take this port to the kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, stash. It's not all port. Not all port. It's a bit there though. Two bottles. <laughs> What do you reckon of your new bed, Jack? Look! Look at your bed! I'm wow, how cool is that? I'm it's easy to climb up onto, isn't it? It's gonna be the same with the new van too. Wink wink. He only knows caravan. That's it. He's only been in and out of houses and stuff. He stayed over a few different places where we've stayed. That's been it. Like for us to be in a place like this for a couple of weeks is going to be very, very different um, and very interesting for him. Nothing like getting the kids involved, eh? It's funny because we've got Sean that's in the granny flat. I'm here in the in the caravan and we've got Jada that's just running in between. So I'll load it up, she takes her around and then Sean will put it somewhere. And uh, it seems to be working pretty good. We're going right. Slowly chipping away at it all. It uh, definitely reminds you how much stuff you can fit in an actual caravan, I'll tell you that. Doesn't look like much, but it's a bloody lot. <laughs> it's amazing what you can fit into small spaces and uh, the nooks and crannies that are, that are located in the caravan. We've been in this caravan for two and a half years and now we're taking everything out of it to never live in this again. Like, it just... That right there just blows my mind. It's like a big moment. It's a huge moment. Never living in this van again. it has been a, like such a big part of everything that we've done so far, up until now. But uh, time for bigger and better things. Time to move up in the world and see where we can take it. Woo! Bloody excited. You want to make me feel like a bad parent even more. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Shit happens. So we've just had <laughs> a bit of a casualty just in the last like 10 minutes. Yeah. Jack's in a fair bit of pain. This is an icy pole underneath this Thing. You can't tell really, they're mm. pretty fat. They are very fat. I took a photo before we could see the indentations because I thought just in case they want to know where it was if they fall any more. But um, pretty much my sister's partner, fiance Travi, you met earlier, he's lost his car keys. What's wrong? Yeah. You want to go play with your toys? <laughs> okay. He's lost his toy. Um, he's lost his toys. He's lost his keys. And um, we were looking in the car and I accidentally slammed like the door on his fingers, basically. It was like a proper slam. Like, like I haven't seen indentation in fingers like that ever. I'm sorry, man. So, Can huge... I have a look on the bottom side? Show me under here for a minute. As you would believe, he had a huge scream, but um, he's I'm done not... really well. He's been really, really good. Yeah. We were sort of worried that he might have maybe possibly fractured or maybe broken a, a uh, finger. <laughs> Can you do this, Jack? Can you go this? Can you move your hands? Can you move them? Go this with your fingers. Is that okay? No. Is it hurt? That would be a bit sore. So, Sam, I'm not sure if I should go down to the hospital and get in like an x-ray because I feel like one of them was like right on his joint. Yeah, right on his knuckle. I don't want him to end up with like a gimpy finger because I didn't deal with it fast enough. But in saying that too, he's pretty good. But then he's pretty good with any injury, so I don't know. It's like this one. Yeah, that's your gimp finger. That's straight. Because I, <laughs> I never, I didn't do the right thing in going to hospital. This is one of those moments right now. 
he can end up being like his dad even more. <laughs> Put your hand on here. No, I want to play with toys. You want to go play with toys, all right? <laughs> well, that's a good song. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mum. Do I want to play with you, Jack? Okay. So, do you want to play with me, Mum? Baby, Mum. Yeah, I play with you because I feel so bad. <laughs> Blow your nose quickly. Blow. Yeah, don't go to doctors. <laughs> go again. Big blow. Oh, one more. Oh, that one. Oh, yummy. No, it's not yummy. No, it's no, yucky. It's not yummy. <laughs> yucky. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What an eventful day it's been. Moved house, crushed my kids' fingers in the door. <laughs> I'm glad that if it was going to happen, it's happened now because we're pretty much 90, not 98% finished. Yeah, it'd be a bit crap if we were like halfway through. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going alright though. How do you feel about doing this inside a house? Feels very strange. <laughs> Feels very unnatural. But it's going to, it's going to be pretty cool. Like to be able to heat. I haven't done anything like this since. Like being a kid back at the uh, grandparents' house, so they got one exactly like this, probably slightly bigger, but same setup and that. And they have it every single night. They got they buy trailer loads of wood, have a fire pretty much every night. So it takes me right back to that. <clears throat> it's kind of cool. <sighs> well, we're in full swing, cleaning the old van. Last bits now. It's all happening. So pretty much everything's done, like all the fridge and freezers empty and off, microwave's done, kitchen's done, every cupboard, drawer, everything is pretty much done now. Um, Chris, I got Chris to do the shower. He hasn't cleaned the shower since before he was with me, which I thought was kind of funny. I don't think I've cleaned a shower in two and a half years in the caravan. No, you've never done the caravan one. <laughs> it's like done well there. Yeah. And then down here, um, oh yeah, lights are on. We've just taken off that carpet off the bottom, so I'm just going to give that a quick vacuum and a clean up. It's the last thing to do and put the mattress in. And then I've just got to do the floors. Um, I'll do a vacuum and a mop and mop our way out, and then we can get photos. Fantastic. It's exciting. Done right? well. So what is the time? 2.30, so 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It's taken <clears> me four <throat> and a half hours yeah. to go through the whole thing. But I just needed a good amount of time just to be able to do it so we finally had that today oh and we've removed like every baby safety latch as well it's all the sticky stuff yeah that, like, we so have you can the see the fridges for the fridges there yeah but cupboards oh i think you meant you can see where it was I'm no, like, no, 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 no. It. <laughs> no it's, yeah. it's kind of weird to see it without them because we've had them on there for so long we don't want to put them on the next van we're going to nah. see if we can just train him not to go into the cupboards and stuff so he's normally not too bad once he's been in and out of it a couple of times then he gets mm. over it. Like I think it's the initiation of, ooh, what's in here? Oh, what is this? But yeah. What's going on, little man? Okay. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's a, a corn cracker. Corn a, a corn thin. Corn thin. Corn thin. Yeah. Did you just have a sleep? Yes. Yes. Literally just woke up. We had about an hour and ten, so he's uh, raring to go. done. I've just got to do a mop and these little kickback things I noticed they were pretty bad before. <laughs> um, Satisfying. It's like so clean in here. It feels like it's new in a lived-in kind of way. Do you want to give my quick look? Except for those cloths on the bench. Look and the bottom one is even a third bunk now. So weird. And down here Oh wow. <laughs> Bathroom. Shower. So weird. That is really weird seeing that ball of bunk in there again. <laughs> it is, hey? Like, it makes it look really light though, because there's no dark carpet. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It like takes you right back to when we first looked at it, eh? Mm, it's been like that doing all the cleaning today. It's been weird. But in an awesome way. Crazy.
here was me thinking I was done. And then I realized I've got tape. There's two things here, there and here. And the reason for that is because they're like quite bright lights. So, and we don't like them when we're sleeping. Some people like to have lights around, we don't. So now I've got to get them off. I'm so close to being done. <laughs> So I haven't seen that since the caravan was new. That's our 12 volt switch. So you can turn everything off. It's going to be like, like a bittersweet moment. <laughs> we've got so many memories and so many things that we've done with this van in the last two and a half years and it's on to newer and bigger things, but there'll be always a sentimental attachment, I guess, to the van, but uh, life goes on and things grow. And this is uh, our next step, so yeah, it's going to be quite sad when we see a go. Sean up top, in a famous position that uh, a lot of people would know from earlier episodes. I'm not coming down that way. We're not coming down ladder. the front. If you do have a look, we have definitely learnt from our mistakes and we've got ourselves a ladder. <laughs> we've upgraded. We've upgraded, it's not wet, it's quite dry up there which is nice. We had all, all the stickies that went along the side of this van. If you've seen some of our earlier stuff, you'll notice that we had a big red and sort of grey design up the side. And as most things that I've experienced, red absolutely hates the sun. Um, and they started to really deteriorate, especially on this off side, because it got so much sun, can, can, well, compared to the other side, because you got the awning, so it's not as exposed. But uh, that was one hell of a... <laughs> experience getting that stuff off, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I find amazing though? Is that those decals were on here as long as this is. Yeah. And yet this is coming off easily. So it must just be the type of sticker or what has been used. Yeah, just a, a different quality sticker, I guess. And just the really... person who did these stickers in the beginning no longer does them, so. Yeah. No, we've been hit up quite a few times uh, about our stickers and when we got them, but unfortunately they've moved on. They used to have it as a business before they left, but they hit the road as well. Um, and they're no longer available, so we've had to source different uh, supplies. Oh, we told you who it was. It was ADU. ADU, yeah. But they don't do it anymore. Yeah. So don't ask them for stickers, because they don't do it. No, nah, they got inundated there at one stage. Well, they got asked a fair bit, and <laughs> they got the same answer every time, so... No more, no longer. So, while the car's here and we're talking about setups and everything we're doing, um, we're going to put a bit of time and effort into, before we leave, to get the car looking good again like she's she's had a bit of a hard trot and yeah. had a few big big trips out in the four-wheel drive tracks and just doing what we love to do but see we're not going to be doing too much crazy stuff going forward uh, heading south and that we thought uh, we put some love into it and get her up to scratch and yeah just give her some real TLC basically so we got all these all these big marks here that's probably like the the huge extent of what happened on our Springs 4x4 trip. Most of it is just like top surface and probably buff out. Yeah. Just here it's gone down to paint, like down to metal. Yeah, it's probably the worst There's of it There's one big one there and a couple of small ones. But other than that, it's literally surface. So it's fixable. Oh, one there too. Yeah. In the great scheme of things, for what's there, I reckon we could save a fair bit of it. Yeah. Which would be nice. Um, Do a bit of a like cut and polish. Get someone out to do like cut and polish because last time we had this done it was up in broom and we spent it was it looked new yeah like we we spent a bit, bit of money on it to get it done but this guy was recommended and it was the like car 800 had, bucks or something yeah this guy was recommended he does a really good job um and it, we'd been through the gib and done heaps of stuff and she was looking pretty worse for where pretty much where it is now but this is slightly worse um but the job that they did on it and the the amount of work and effort and quality that went into it there was literally not a scratch left on it. I could not yeah. believe it. If they were to do that again now, and it was just those few that were like serious, we found a couple of companies around that come out and do mobile repairs. So yeah. they do like your bumpers or they do small dings and small damages and that where it's not worth putting it through insurance. So if we get it to the point that it's really smick and span, spick and span, <laughs> um, apart from them, then that's all we have to get repaired. So yeah. I wanted to get a dent doctor out and just get all the little door dings and that because they're pros at that get the repair person out to do the paint Chris is going to change over the side steps and then we're thinking about um, we're going to get a quote and just get a wrap done 
but kind of where your bush barriers would go. Hey. Yeah, I don't know yet. We haven't really, well, I'm not too sold on it yet. There's... I think it's a smart idea, <laughs> the way he drives. No, oh. no, that sounds bad, but like it I mean. It does sound bad. Because you go off road and because you use it and because you go in the tight tracks and because you're willing to test it, yeah. it's necessary. Yeah, but there's other options. There's like bush barriers, there's these like clear coats, there's, there's so many different ways you can go about it. You can do a wrap. There's... So you're always going to remember the bush barriers before you go off road and keep that paint smick and span? Smick and span. Smick and span. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I said. I haven't really thought too hard. And I'm looking at this. Drop it in the comments below. What do you think? We <laughs> what do you do? think we should do? Should we do a wrap, bush barriers, or a ceramic wrap? Ceramic coat. Ceramic coat. Yeah. Or if there's any other suggestions, put them in below as well, because I'd be very curious. Or just stay on road. <laughs> no, that's not I reckon possible. That, no, I reckon there'll be a few of those. Just but if don't there go is off one road. Saying, just don't go off road. Yeah, I had a few we, of those we're already. We're not with you guys. I'm sorry. We need, it's we not need an happen. option that's going to keep us off road. We want the four wheel drivers to come out because they know you get other us. options, mm -hmm. and you want to be able to keep it looking good without having to go too over the top and spend heaps of money yeah. every time. But then to be able to go out and enjoy it at the same There's time. There's no major body work like no. at the moment or issues it's just cosmetic so we can fix all that and then keep it that way which is good but in the great scheme of things when you think about it like the full drive park that's you're always going to have some pretty extreme things to do and, and we, that's what we did and we did two in about two months we went to the one in south australia and we went to the springs but you got to expect that we don't do that all the time so no, it's rare. when we're out and about and we're exploring or and things like that or something yeah like the worst that we get is like the the marks down the side which just about anybody will get so at the end of the day it's not too extreme it's just when you go to those four drive parks and stuff which again yeah. we don't it's not going to happen a lot when there's we leave tracks that are really challenging that chris wants to get up yeah and can't make it up the beer clock no there's only one it's only one <laughs> and i'm going to get back there and i'm going to bloody finish it so yes outside try and get the outside looking nice and uh brand new and smick again we have new tyres coming. We're staying with the same brand because I absolutely love them. I get absolutely smashed with reviews. What do I think of them? Do I rate them? Are they great for touring? Are they great for off-road? All the above. And I can tell you right now, going another set of these should basically give you the answer of all those questions in one. I think they're better than the Dicks. CPEX. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, I'll trust you, you come out with that one, eh? <laughs> we used to have four dicks. Not well, we had, we had five. Yeah, five of them. You, should, you was a very happy woman, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we were just rolling on the right gear. <laughs> uh, but but um, you need to talk about where you get them to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll just about to touch on that until you sidetrack me with a couple of dick CPEX. <laughs> so, basically, yeah, to answer all those questions, we're going to Yokohama G016. Extreme all terrain, so the XATs. Um, they're a fantastic tie. We've done so much with it. If you've been following our travels and all the places we've been, we've been on some hardcore roads like Cape York, Gibb River Road. We love going full driving, just everything, everything about it. These tires have been amazing. Um, I've had a few people say they're soft, they're not great, all this and everything else. People get quite caught up in their tires and their quality and stuff, but at the end of the day, if they do the job and they do it well, that's good enough for me. Obviously, we do a hell of a lot more than like the average Joe on the road. Um, so these these tires are done really bloody well, considering everything we've done. I'll pop in the bottom down here to show you uh, the kilometres we've done and how long we've had them for, just to give you a bit of an idea of what we've been up to and like just the life of the tires and what they've been up to and what they've done. Um, but a big, huge shout out. You've probably seen them a lot on our merch and our jumpers and stuff CTO so these guys are located down in Melbourne they do all sorts of stuff from suspensions to canopies to tires to just about anything and they work on big cars they work on small cars uh, they do everything it's a one-stop shop for all your goodies and that so CTO massive shout out to them they jumped on board the very first time that we needed tires which is way back in Kununurra and that was years ago now it's, um, they helped us out massively and they've been supplying tyres for us, which is, like, that's huge. Like, if you're on the road and you're doing what we're doing, to have a, someone that can reach out and, you know, throw out some tyres for you, well, tell you what, probably a dream come true right there. So, massive shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, can look forward to the future and what we get up to down the track. But, 
huge, huge thank you to CTO. Check them out. So a couple more things. We got the windshield. Joys of being on the road so much. There is always a very high potential of gaining some sort of crack or <laughs> a rock to the bloody windshield. The funny thing is, well, we've had this little chip here for oh, months now. It's been a, like a long time. And it wasn't until we got back to Queensland that it started to just take off. And it, it took off quick. Almost was past halfway now, which is, yeah, it's a decent crack. But it's getting replaced. We put the uh, request in and we're just waiting here back and getting a, a bit of a time to get the car down there and get it all sorted. So that's another one good. There's another one there now too. Bloody hell. Joy's been on the road, I tell you what. We've done well to only go through two wind chills in two and a half years. We've done really, really well. Um, some future things that are happening later on down the track in the year that's happening this year is the side mirrors. But there's another question I get absolutely like smashed with. Um, I've got the Malenkos that just click on and sit out the side. I've been rocking them for <laughs> since day dot. Um, they do the job, but they're not ideal. They're not like amazing and great. It's good for a temporary sort of fix if you haven't got anything in the meantime and you're waiting for something else like what I have. Um, so yeah, upgrading the mirrors, stay tuned for that because it's something I've been waiting for for a very, very long time and they're finally making them. So roughly October this year, we should be uh, looking at hopefully getting some uh, new mirrors on there, which will be amazing. It's yeah, a very crucial part of what we do towing and having some solid mirrors that don't shake and wobble and stuff. Perfect. Um, also too, some more future stuff that's happening. We've got a few bits and pieces coming for the Rhino rack. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to be showcasing a few bits and pieces, some new gear, uh, some new mounting brackets and stuff that they've just brought out. So that's very exciting to, to be a part of that, but uh, also show you guys as well. But yeah, a few new pieces going on, some exciting new parts coming. So stay tuned because yeah, we'll be uh, showcasing them a little bit later on down the track. The bloody no, oh, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> 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 